So anyway, I'm going to see if this is going to do without lagging too badly. We survived July the 7th. It is now July the 8th. And hopefully, hopefully, until the toxicology reports come out, we are now over with the Michael Jackson sad story. I know you two don't have any thoughts on it because y'all been doing the same thing I've been doing today, which is doing our best to avoid everything. But every channel, every radio station, every website, the internet didn't even work today hardly because of this man. And actually I just had it on my mind all day to make a quick video because it's in the mainstream media not so long ago he wasn't even a thought and every time that he did come up you talk you know you heard accusations and court this and freak that and everybody has their opinion about it and then all of a sudden the man dies and I've said this before in the other videos but it's not just about him but it's the mentality of everybody out there what is wrong with you people? You don't believe in anything that is right anymore, common sense wise that is. And all of you people that went to this big memorial, yeah I sympathize with their family and all the hardships that they go through but I've been there and done that recently. And you don't idolize an individual for dying. You don't group together to turn this person into a god. And that's exactly what everybody has done. And I feel that as an American, and all of us as Americans, that have that common sense about us should be greatly offended by the majority, not everybody, but the majority of people that actually went to this event. The reason I say this is, is that we will group together for some of the most asinine reasons and yet in the same field we won't group together for a hoaxer for nothing more than a pitch man which is our president. And the analogy has been made that Billy Mays was not the greatest pitch man on the planet, but it is Obama. And I agree with that. If we banded together as a people, as a nation, as Americans, and, you know, from around the world and voiced our opinions to our government as to how fucked it is and how our nation is going to hell in a handbasket at light speed to the power of nine it, it just if we did that we might actually be able to make a difference and I know it will be turned right back around into well what the hell are you doing and this is well this is what I'm doing I voice my opinion with public officials with my friends with people that matter and people that'll listen and then you out there uh, part of the crap chest nation and uh, on all the other networks that I participate on know that I love this country I just hate what's going on with it right now and if we tried just a fraction as hard as we try with other things that don't even matter we might actually make a difference it was played out about gas. Everybody doesn't give a fuck about gas anymore. Gas prices are gas prices. Nobody's going to do anything about it. We're over it, done with. We've been hammered with it. We don't care what the price is. We just need fuel in our cars. Like the trailer park boys and open up a gas station, an illegal gas station in her house or some shit. And we'll send out the boys to siphon it off for us. But they tax the shit out of tobacco. And they call it a sin tax, where I still disagree with that, and I don't want to really discuss it maybe in a later rant and uh, craft chest view video I might but this nation was founded on tobacco and 
if they really wanted to rake in revenue, which, I mean, I wouldn't participate in on this, never have done it, never have the desire to. Hell, one day I might, I don't know. Legalize marijuana and tax that. I guarantee you this country will be out of debt tomorrow, the day that they do that. Yes, it would. And, you know, of course, the companies and big corporate will have to make their uh, policies change along with that uh, to make it work. But, you know, it's sensible. Marijuana is in the forefront of people's thoughts each and every single day about why not just legalize it. Now, yes, it is a drug, and in certain ma manners and in certain aspects of a person's life, it is harmful. Uh, there are abusers of everything, whether it be tobacco, alcohol, illegal drugs, legal drugs, prescription drugs. We can't even trust our doctors out there these days to do the right thing and give the right people medication, and yet these same doctors and medical facilities are the ones that are looking at the government for not only medical reform but help from the government just like these big corporate businesses and then the radio industry is being attacked as well and nobody stands up for any of these things that matter to us as people and yes I have uh, sent in my email and made and left a, uh, my message with the local government about the radio uh, act that they're wanting to pass and hopefully that it won't because if so a lot of radio stations that we listen to we will no longer hear them because they're calling it a performance tax that they're wanting to put on radio stations which means that there's a radio station out there that does well and in this local area just to, to give you an idea 97.9 CPR um, and 101 what is it, 101.5 in Pensacola, Florida. Uh, both of those stations are like iconic in this area. And if they put this tax on there, we might no longer get uh, performances from other groups like we have. Mean we'll be doing more illegal. Correct. And then, you know, you're going to be making uh, illegal downloads of these musics and all that for people to get their entertainment even bigger than it is. And my point to all this is, is that we will focus in on one individual that doesn't mean anything to the world for a long time. And after tomorrow and after next week, it's just another person that passed away. That's the bottom line. It's just like Yoda says, you know, about people dying. Miss them do not. Mourn them do not. Be happy for those that have transformed into the force. All right? And that's what we should, I mean, it, it, life goes on. Just like I said in another video, if I drop dead tonight, people's going to probably be a little upset and then it's over with. Nobody's going to remember me for what, anything that I did. Maybe a couple of the peoples out there that I've, you know, helped or whatever, and they're going to say, yeah, I remember him. But when it's all said and done, life goes on. You know, it, we, we have the wrong beliefs and the wrong things, the wrong people. We put these pedestals, these idols, up on these pedestals. And we can't even take care of the business at hand, which is what our country here in the U.S. was founded on, which is a government for the people, of the people, by the people. It's no longer that. It's, a, it's, it's turning into a socialist society at a, an alarming rate. It's turning into whoever's got the money is going to sustain And this is this is being run by a Marxist government and then with all of the media attention on Michael Jackson we don't even have an attention span worthy of paying attention to Obama going to Russia and then everybody that knows anything about what they've been talking about about government taking over businesses taking over GM taking over medical taking over everything buying banks buying up in the money and turning this country into socialist uh, society, what better place for the president to visit than Russia, the founders of socialism? And we don't get it. And I'm going to make a series of videos like this uh, here in the future um, to voice my concerns because the gaming videos right now, we have a few. I have a bunch of them on my uh, main PC that... Uh, 
whenever I can I'll bring it over here and upload it uh, and I've just been really 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 busy with a lot of other stuff too many too many items to even mention uh oh and see just like this right here perfect example uh, yeah music for the people all right so I'm gonna leave it at that and uh, just ponder the question do we have our priorities in the right spot do we have our mentality thinking about the right issues at hand we need to step back and uh, take a cup of common sense drink it down and pay attention to the important things that are going on in this country before we lose even our right to own our lives.